Hi, and welcome to Infertility Unfiltered, where fertility experts and warriors are joining forces to discuss tips, tricks, information, facts, inspiration, and lessons so that you can take back control of your fertility journey and get your baby on board. Hi, I'm Jennifer Robertson, and today we are very honored to be joined by Brody Mitchell. Now, Brody is an acupuncturist, and she is passionate about working with women, fertility, pregnancy, and post birth care. Inspired by her own fertility journey, Brody steered her studies in Chinese medicine to gynecology, reproductive health, and obstetric acupuncture. She treats holistically and is passionate about natural medicine. Now today, Brody is going to be talking to us about acupuncture and Chinese medicine and the benefits for fertility. And if you stick around to the end, she's going to give you three ways, three ways, three things that you can do at home to reduce stress, relax your body and create calm. So thank you so much for joining us, Brody Mitchell. Ah, thank you for having me. Excellent. Now, before we dive into the acupuncture, the Chinese medicine, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you down this path? Um, well, I was studying acupuncture and trying to conceive. It took us almost three years. Um, I had polycystic ovaries and I um, had tried lots of things. Well, I didn't know I had polycystic ovaries at first. I had a regular cycle, so I thought everything was fine. Once we got married, I was like, yeah, we'll just go and have a baby. But it didn't happen. <laughs> um, I then had a naturopath that found out I had polycystic ovaries and I then went down the natural route trying to overcome it really. I saw lots of acupuncturists, uh, naturopath, and eventually we fixed the polycystic ovaries, but I was so obsessed by that stage and in my head, which I'm sure that's where you all can relate, that it just wouldn't happen for us. I couldn't switch off. I couldn't get out of that um, everything you thought about was fertility or pregnancy. And eventually, uh, after a lot of work on myself, I ended up conceiving and I've got a little boy now. Um, and during that time though, I was studying acupuncture. So I went and did extra courses and seminars on acupuncture for fertility. So that sort of drove that passion. And then in the end, I was actually very grateful for it because now I can work with women when they're in similar situations and I feel like I can empathize and understand what you're going through. Cause I've definitely been there and done it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. How, how, you know, our journeys can actually guide us in ways that we never imagined possible. So, yes. um, do you I have definitely a... don't think it's a, benefit, a blessing, but in the end, I uh, look at it now as a blessing. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Now, do you want to tell us just a little bit about acupuncture and Chinese medicine and how it helps fertility? Yeah, sure. So, um, for starters, uh, acupuncture, it works on if in Chinese medicine, we talk a lot about qi and blood. So qi is our life force or vital energy. Sometimes it's referred to and it flows through the body. It's what makes the every bodily system work. It moves blood. If it's working as it should, then you feel good. All our bodily functions feel good. Our reproductive area works as it should. Um, when it's not flowing is when we get pain or um, if, if talking reproductive stuff, um, you might not ovulate or th that that's the flow of qi and blood that we just we talk about um, to explain it more from a western point of view though like in biological medicine uh, um, it's we work on the nervous system so we're working on the lymphatic system with oxygenated blood flowing around the body and the nervous system so the, predominantly the sympathetic and the uh, parasympathetic nervous system and balancing it back into that rest and digest state into that flight and fright. So we use, there's meridian systems around the body and we use fine needles, which is described as the acupuncture to go on points that will create balance and harmony. So um, with the menstrual cycle, we look at it in stages. So you've got, you know, your follicular phase, your ovulation, your luteal but we look at it more like a yin yang and the harmony and balance as it should flow. So the acupuncture is used weekly during that cycle to create an optimum cycle for fertility. So that's that 28 day cycle, the four to five day bleed, ovulation day 14, you know, it's not 
everyone's that's not everyone's exact thing but it, that's about that optimum cycle that we talk about so the acupuncture harmonizes the body to go back into that natural rhythm which is sort of works on the gynecological side however when we are trying to conceive and for long term or in that real obsessive state or doing IVF you can't get out of your head then it's more the nervous system that we're working on so when our nervous system's out of whack and we're in that flight and fright it's like your body switches off from that reproductive area because it's like okay Okay. All right. Sorry, uh, we froze a little bit there. So, Brody, you were just talking about the the you know the nervous system. So, when you're getting in your head. Okay. Yes. So, um, when we are in that, uh, you know, when you're trying to conceive for a long time and you start to get obsessed, and it's all you think about and consume, it's like we're in the sympathetic nervous system. We've got that flight and fight response and we aren't in the parasympathetic which is the rest and digest state so we are meant to go into the sympathetic nervous system when there's danger around or you know there's something happens but you're meant to drop back down into your parasympathetic what the acupuncture does it works on dropping you back down that parasympathetic nervous system because if we are in that sympathetic dominance then it you, you think back to the olden times it's danger so you're ready to run and fight um, there's definitely not chi and blood and oxygenated blood going to the reproductive system thinking oh let's create a baby now so the acupuncture works then on bringing down that nervous system and getting you back into a state where your reproductive system can work as it should and the body can think okay I can make a baby again because you Excellent. think too when you like that I'm sure you can relate even when you're trying to make a baby you can see all you're doing is thinking Am I making a baby? Was this the time? It's not actually down there feeling and um, working as it should, which is sort of that yang chi chemistry you make when you make love and have a baby. Absolutely. And does it? And how does it work for egg quality as well? So uh, we look at our essence. So what happens is when you are it, like in that um, synthetic dominance, or you know, you end up long term like that, you start to end up in adrenal fatigue or adrenal exhaustion. And Chinese medicine looks at that as you're drawing on your essence. So we should really have enough chi and blood and things to function from the food we eat, the activities we do, the rest during the day, and just our normal rhythms that we don't draw in our essence that we've got from our parents and passed down. And that's the egg quality. So we then build the chi and blood up so you can use that and restore the essence so the essence can be used to make good quality eggs so that's when people are doing IVF cycles we usually work three months prior to build that egg quality up because the egg that you're actually ovulating is created three months prior so it's building in strength to ovulation day okay great great and so um what are three things that that our audience can do because obviously they can't always get in to see an acupuncturist or anything like that what are three things that they can do or three exercises that they can do that will reduce reduce their stress allow them to relax and just tap into like that calm yeah so tips that i usually give to all of my women um is it, there it's actually a form of qigong which is chinese exercise therapy and it's stuff you can do at home because if we go and tell you to go home and meditate and relax when you're in that state that's impossible <laughs> i know that feeling it's impossible you need an activity to do that's going to get you into it so um an easy one to do is if just during your day you're starting to feel yourself get wound up that breath in your chest and you can't relax is massage your ears so this straight away relaxes the nervous system so just the outside and just go down you can do it when you're in the car when you're driving at work if you've got a meeting just rub the ears it's actually just super easy to do. you can do it um, on anyone your kids and dogs love it too um, the other thing that I usually say is a hot foot bath before bed so at night time when you're going to sleep it's usually when start the thoughts start to go again and you can't switch off 
So we say your kidney channel starts at the base of your foot. Kidneys are in charge of birth, growth, reproduction, and they ground us back down to Mother Earth. So when you're stressed and obsessed and thinking in the head, we have all this yang chi that floats up. And at night time, we should all be about our yin, our blood, our feminine, our nighttime rest time. So the hot foot bath brings all that yang chi out of your head and grounds us back down to the earth. So it only has to be 10 minutes and it just has to be a hot foot bath, uh, like laundry bucket full of hot water. You can even put Epsom salts in to make you feel a bit more relaxed or an essential oil if you're into that. But it really just descends that chi and helps you have a good night rest because sleep is really important for fertility in the menstrual cycle. So anything that can aid that sleeping process, um, that's a good little tip, but easy that you can do at home. The other one was, um, so we bang down the side of our legs. So when we are feeling like that, uh, that in that flight and fr fright, we say the chi's stuck. So your vital force or your energy isn't flowing through the body as it should. You, you, you start to think straight away, as soon as you feel like that, your shoulders are probably coming up to your ears. You can just feel how tight and tense you are. So a tool we have to move that chi is we use our gallbladder channel, which runs down the whole side of our body. And you can either just get a loose fist or open palms and it's just slapping or banging down the side of the legs, like starting at the hips, going on the outside of the legs all the way to the feet and then back up over your buttocks, back up to the hips. So that'll move that chi. And as it moves the chi, it's sort of just invigorating the body. Once things start to move, you'll notice your shoulders start to relax. You feel like you can breathe again because things are flowing and not so stuck. So Chinese medicine all, is all about flow. Like we don't want any stuck energy. Everything should just keep flowing and stay in rhythm and harmony. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, you follow. <laughs> I love those. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, if people want to get in contact with you, if, if they want to follow you on Instagram, how do they find you? Um, my Instagram page is just Brody Mitchell Acupuncture and I work at Life Synergy in Burley Heads. So you can also get me on email. Uh, it's brody at lifesynergy.com.au. Awesome. And I'll put all of those details in the, in the comments below. Um, so thank you for joining us, Brody Mitchell. Now, if you enjoyed this interview as well, make sure that you give this video a like, a share, subscribe to this channel as well, because this is just one of many amazing interviews that we're going to have with fertility experts and warriors so that you can take back control of your fertility journey. So thank you for joining us.